gonna go with Love in the Tank. I'm only 50 pages. Hello, we are back. Um, I said, okay, 4.75. <laughs> So I'm coming to you with a new video. It is February 1st and I think I'm going to start a this video ends when I get a five star read video. I intended to start this at the beginning of January and I don't know why I didn't. I think time just got away from me and also right at the start of January I was reading really good books and I thought oh some of these could be a five star like off the bat and I was like I'm not going to make the first book I read a five star because that's not the point of the video and that would just annoy me so I put it off for a bit and then I was like okay so none of those were five stars actually so I could just be like five books in right now so I'm just gonna start I've already um filmed like a clip for one book I listened to imagine me you'll see that and then now I um just I just picked this up I haven't started it yet but I think this is gonna be the first book I read so we'll see how this goes. I notoriously do not have many five stars. I think last year, in fact, I could tell you how many five stars I had last year. So I read 136 books last year and I had 13 five star books. And then honestly, when I'm looking at it, some of the books at the start of the year, I don't think I would rate a five star now. So I am very, very picky about the five stars. I'm not really picky about anything else. Most books will get like a four star from me, but between the four and the five, there's a lot. I've, I've given it like a 4.25, 4.7, 4.89. No, I don't do that, but I may, I could. Much fun, hopefully, and will take longer than I'm thinking it's gonna take. Okay, bye. Can you see me? Currently it's before the last clip you will have seen because I've not actually started like properly reading for this video yet. I'm currently still reading the Tower of Dawn Empire of Storms tandem read, which I'm not going to include in this because Empire of Storms could quite possibly be a five star. And I feel like, like what the first book that I've already read, 75% of I'm going to give five star and then in the video, no, that's shit. I've decided in this moment that I'm going to listen to Imagine Me um, on Spotify Premium, the audiobook, because that's on my January TBR and I'd really, really like to get it off because I've been putting off finishing the Shatter Me series. So I think I'm gonna to listen to that on audio book. I think that's a good idea. So technically that's the first book for this video. I not anticipate that being a five star, but who knows, maybe I'm gonna be obsessed with it. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know that that's what I'm doing. You probably won't see any of that because I film on my phone. So what am I gonna film? But I will let you know when it's done. What rating I give it? That could come at any point, who knows? That's the mystery, that's the fun. But yeah, bye for now, ciao for now. Hello, I just wanted to give a quick update on, what did I read? Imagine me. I'm sure no one expects me to come on and say five star, it wasn't, it was like a 3.75, it was fine. I actually really enjoyed listening to it, opposed to if I had read it, I thought I was very happy with that decision. And like I had a good time, which I don't think I would have had a good time if I'd read it. I would have just been like, I don't want to be reading this. I think I'm gonna go with Love in the Time of Serial Killers because I want to read this for a reading vlog that I want to start tomorrow. So I'll just start today and then I'm already ahead of the game, which is amazing. The TikTok bestseller, Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I just think it'll be fun to read around Valentine's Day because it's a bit different. And I want to read the romance, but this just looks like a fun one. I don't know. When I bought this, I was so pissed off because I was in, I think, Liverpool. So I went to the big Waterstones there. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy a book because it's like a special, you know. I want to get a book just because, you know. So I got this one and then we went to the works straight after. I paid, how much did I pay for this at Waterstones? Eight ninety nine. Went to the works straight after. It was there for like £2.50. And I was like... <gasps> Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. So I haven't picked it up since then because triggering. Okay, so I am four pages in and she just referred 
to this guy as my dude. Um, yeah, that's what's happening. People talk more about what they mean when they say a reader, li a reader lives a thousand lives. Like that's a very well known phrase quote i'm not completely sure who said that originally but for me it's a reader wants to live a thousand lives every time i start a book whatever the main character does whatever job wherever they live whatever's going on i want to fucking do that now now that's what i want to do so i have no clue what i actually want to do with my life because i'm constantly like right now in this book she is a i think phd student doing her dissertation i'm not sure what like level of um study she's at now i want to go back to school i want to go back to university do my masters like what are we talking about what are we talking about what are we talking about and i cannot i cannot decipher in my brain what i truly want because i just every time i read a book i'm like mm, i would love to be like a fantasy warrior i would love that that sounds like the right path for me oh i'd love to be a baker oh my god yeah oh i'd love to be a lawyer no that's totally it like how am i ever meant to actually decipher what i want and it would be so me to get like significantly down a career path and then be like oh i just pulled this all from like one of my favorite characters i don't actually want to do this looks cool so far actually though well again it's been a while since i've updated this um video but i finished loving the time of serial killers last night my first book of february bit of a random one but pretty on theme for the month i ended up giving this book like a three star so obviously this video has to continue but yeah i enjoyed it for what it was i actually feel like it was the perfect time for me to read this book if i'd read it at any other point when i was like just not really in the mood for like just a light fun romance i would have really not enjoyed it because to me it was a pretty standard pretty non it, like there was nothing crazy special about it to me it was like a good solid like fun like hard romance i've actually been uh listening to the love theoretically audiobook which is my favorite ali hazelwood book favorite romance that's a five star but i'm not going to include it because it's a reread and reading like listening to that at the same time i've been reading this i can see kind of similarities in a lot of ways but this just feels like a not this is mean to say i don't mean to be mean it's just my opinion not quite as good for me personally version of like what ali hazelwood kind of does Re reading and listening to them at the same time i could find like the similarities and obviously I didn't like it quite as much. So yeah, I feel like if you enjoy Ali Hazelwood's books, I would recommend trying this. It's a fun spin. The whole serial killer aspect is a bit stupid, to be honest. Like it's a little bit silly, but I guess it was a fun little difference. I quite liked the love interest. He kind of has like this shy, nice guy kind of archetype. Not got that much about him, but hey and i found the main character to be okay but pretty i just really don't like the trope of like there's no real reason for us to not be together i want to be with you but i'm not going to be with you for like stupid reasons just basically to add more pages to the book i don't have the book with me currently it's downstairs but i have just started magnolia park's long way home and i am like 80% sure that's gonna end up being a five star so I'm a little bit like questioning whether I want to include it in this video because it feels like not a true five star because it's almost like something would have to go drastically wrong for me to not because I just love the character so much because I so I'm thinking I might actually just not include it something about that feels unfair like 
I know it's going to be a five star and I want to keep this video going obviously like I want it to be like a surprising five star like oh my god look at this amazing new book that I found you know like I'm if that isn't a five star I'm going to be disappointed which wouldn't usually be the case so yeah I, I'm thinking I'm not going to include it so I will see when that's done maybe it will be five star maybe it won't um I'll let you know but yeah hello everybody it's me again I'm back I don't know how many days later this is actually, a couple days later. I just finished Magnolia Park's on the way home. I'm pointing because it's over there. Oh, oh my God, that was a five star. Like I, I was a five star, so I'm glad I didn't include it because this video would have been over very quickly. <sighs> I can't actually talk about it. I can't actually talk about it at all. To be, well, I'll talk about it a little bit actually. <laughs> caught me so towards the end of it towards the last 100 pages i was like okay i don't know if this is gonna be a five star maybe a 4.75 like i i don't know like this is it's really good obviously but I, then i need that extra like thing i need that extra just mm, to make me be like this is undoubtable <sighs> and she gave it to me jessa gave it to me I, I don't feel great right now. I feel a little bit weird, but I also have a real, real urge to read. Like, I just want to keep reading something. So I think I'm going to start Bride by Ali Hazelwood. This came out, like, two days ago, I think. And I am in an Ali Hazelwood, like, zone right now. I just listened to Love Theoretically audiobook, and I just listened to Love on the Brain audiobook also in the last like literally two days it took me two days to just listen to that if even that i feel like i started it yesterday whatever um so yeah i think i'm going to i don't know if i really am in the i what i really want to read right now is more ali hazelwood like stem romance books i want to read more of those so hopefully this gives me the ali hazelwood like that i'm looking for because obviously it's a very different setting but i have very good well i have high expectations because i've loved every single one of her books that i've read so i've had very high expectations I, I am one chapter in and this shit is giving juicy it's giving anybody remember episode that app i loved that shit when i was younger i swear to god this is giving me those vibes <laughs> which sounds bad it's not though i love a good i love a good i love a good like oh i don't even know how to explain it but just one of these racing through bride i'm like 160 pages in 160 168 pages in so yeah really enjoying it going super well as ever i love ali's writing i'm not predicting this is gonna surpass love theoretically so far thus i'm not i'm not really thinking it's gonna be a five star i mean who knows maybe there's gonna be an incredible situation that happens that makes me just need it to be a five star but i just i'm not convinced but it will be a very high fall i think i just finished bride literally a second ago my eyes are blurry actually from staring at the page and then suddenly final thoughts i think it's like a four star it's not my favorite ali hazel Ali Hazelwood book to be honest honestly probably my least favorite but it still was very very good because I just love all her books I really missed the stem element I love the science and like the academia like aspects of the books those are my favorite parts so I just missed it a little bit part of this book that really threw me off was like the spicy elements really really threw me off like I'm not usually I can take it or leave it 
kind of feeling. I don't usually get bothered by it, but <laughs> they were just... I'm not going to go into it because I am not going to yuck anyone's yum. Oh, but something about it just really I was struggling with. So yeah, overall good. I liked the main character. I liked the love interest, but I didn't feel any particular like mm, about them, you know? So yeah, full star. I'm still in a mood to read though, to be honest. Like I'm ready to pick up another book, so I probably will soon. And then we'll continue. Maybe that'll be a five star. <laughs> team stalking jack the ripper okay <clears throat> i'm only like 50 pages in so uh, i don't want to say too much like oh, but so far i'm a little bit disappointed i expected to just really like it from the start uh i don't know obviously the stalking jack the ripper the concept of the book is kind of like darker it's a ya so it's not like but you know there's like gruesome topics and talk of that stuff but like honestly so far it's just been like 80 percent describing like wounds and how to dissect dead bodies 15 percent like walking around I guess like description of like getting from place to place and then like five two percent even like actually like something's happening but that's only 50 percent of the book so not 50 percent. there's only 50 pages of the book so it's not like i had much to go off but i don't know so far i just feel like i'm not like in the story i'm just like reading words and they're not even spinning anything together it feels like reading a textbook almost like that's i'm getting the feeling of when i would read stuff for uni of like okay i'm listening it's going in but like i'm not enjoying myself <laughs> i just have to read this i'm gonna keep going honestly i'm gonna finish it unless i absolutely hate it because i have the whole box set which now i'm like I asked for it for Christmas and I got it for Christmas and because I thought I was going to love it I still kind of hope I do turn around and love it because I'm like or at least like it enough to want to continue but that it's starting kind of boring okay hello we are back um I don't remember what the last thing I showed you was was it um bride is it bride I just filmed like a 24 hour reading challenge kind of situation so i read a couple of books in that first one is stalking jack the ripper just like a thriller it's a ya mystery for it's a ya mystery thriller type book and it's kind of like a not retelling but a reimagining i guess um and a fictionalization of the jack the ripper I don't know, case? So, I don't know what you would call that. It rated this like a 3.75, a really slow start for me. It took me a couple of days to get into. But once I started the 24 hour challenge, I obviously finished this. I got into it when I kind of like forced myself to sit down and read it. It was pretty good. I will be continuing the series. The next one's like something to do with Dracula, I think. I don't know, to that I read the Deal by L. Kennedy on my Kindle and I really really enjoyed it actually. I read it like in basically one night, started in the evening, finished it in the morning. It that like a like a 4.25. It was a pretty strong hockey romance, one of the better ones that I've read. And I will be continuing that series, but obviously not five star. And then I read All In by Jennifer Limbarnes in that video as well. Again, I 
I love this series so much. I love The Naturals. I loved Killer Instinct. This one took me a little bit longer to get into. I don't know if it was maybe just because I would have been reading so much. So I was just a bit, you know, read out. I gave this like 4.25. I feel like it dragged a bit for me in the middle, but then the ending, like the end, at least like 50-ish, 50 to 100 pages was so good. But also like a bit information dumpy for me. Like I kept having to reread sentences because I couldn't understand what they were trying to tell me. It was also like nighttime that I was finishing it. So that could be a factor there, but I found it to be like, whoa, but it was very good. So didn't find a five star there. Now I'm reading Starling House. This is the dust jacket for it, which is like weird because it's like plastic. Like I don't and get clear, but it's very cute. Starling House. This is my Illumicrate copy. I picked this up because I I started reading The Kingmaker at the end of the 24 hour challenge and I just couldn't get into it. And like, I'm in a reading mood. I wanna read, but nothing is really holding my focus. So this is completely different from what I would usually go for. Very off like <laughs> base for me. So I feel like maybe a good little shock to the system, reset the brain, I'll be back ready to read something else after this. Um, I'm like 70 something pages in, no, 50 something pages in, and it's good so far, pretty, I mean, it's not really my kind of thing, so I don't see myself loving it, but it's different, and I am excited to read it, I'm excited to see what happens. It's like a mystery, thrillery, just dark book. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna read that. Um, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Hey, hello. It has been a while since I've updated um, this video because since the uh, 24 hour video I just did, just did, I did it like a week ago. I've been really struggling to like find a book to read so I started reading Starling House. Nothing was really grabbing me. I started reading this and it was like okay but not really my thing. I wasn't that interested. Da, da, da. So I was reading that for a few days like 10-20 pages, 8 pages a day and just not really getting into it. Then I picked up Addicted to You and I was gonna maybe start rereading that. I was read. I read it for like an evening and I was enjoying it I was getting through it I was gonna keep reading that and then I had a couple books come in the mail in the mail in the post Saving Six by Chloe Walsh and as soon as it came I was like oh I want to read that and I feel like a book this size if you've got the like if you want to read it you should probably read it then because that feeling's probably gonna pass because that's intimidating and I'm absolutely loving it I started it yesterday and I'm like nearly 300 pages in it's so good. I love the characters. I love the series. It's so good. So I'm happy and this could potentially be a four, five star. You never know. Buying 13 and keeping 13, I rated 4.75, but like thinking back on it, if I reread them, maybe I would up them to a five star just because I think about the series all the time. I don't know if I like this. I feel like I... If I was to say I like these books more, that would be like betrayal to Johnny and Shannon because they are my girls. Like I love Johnny and Shannon, but I, I'm loving this and I love Ether. I didn't, I didn't expect to like be able to connect to her that easily, but I love her and Joey as well. Already love Joey from the first. Maybe I'm um, filming a reading vlog of it. So I'm probably going to include some clips in this that was in that. If you haven't seen that, um, yeah. going with saving six and 
the only thing that's in my mind making me think it's not I'm not gonna rate it a five star is because I didn't rate binding 13 or keeping 13 a five star both of them I just said okay 4.75 looking back on it I think about these books and these characters so much that I think if I read them again I would rate them a five star and I think I want to read them again now so I think I'll rate them a five star but I feel like I, I know that I, I love these characters. I feel more attached to these characters than I do to these. So I'm like, okay, so obviously it's not as, like, this is better, but it's different. But I'm literally, like, eating this up. I still have, like, 200 pages to go, so I'm jumping the gun. It's not that deep, though, is it? If I want to rate it a five star, I can rate it a five star. <laughs> Wow. 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 Five stars. Five. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. I think the day would come so soon I thought we would be months down the line because usually it does take months for me to find five star reads but wow. This really just came in and blew blew everything else out of the water wow 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 have a crushing crushing need to go back and read the first two books in the series because i think now they're gonna be like incredible over five star reads to me because if this is a five star and i know that i like that set of characters and that i know that that's probably more my speed i'm just so excited now i feel like i've fully connected with the i already loved the series but now i'm like okay this is a this is one of my favorite series now this book everything everything you need the emotion the emotional turmoil the emotional turmoil in this book unbelievable characters 10 out of 10 Plotline, 10 out of 10. Romance, 10 out of 10. Everything, 10 out of 10. What really sealed the deal for me is I don't usually read author acknowledgements. I know I should, but I just can't be bothered when I finished a whole book to read one. And I, But I did read this one and... Um, if, you, if you read the book, read the acknowledgement and it sealed the deal for me of wow, wow. I felt every ounce of emotion that was being put into this book because that was one thing that I really really took note of is Binding 13, Keeping 13, very sad like also had a lot of the same like emotional aspects but when I tell you I felt deep in my bones like the emotion going on in this book like the anger that I felt and the grief and unjustness unbelievable and i'm sure it's continued in the next one i don't know if i've ever connected emotionally to a character as much as i did to joey which that's not normal for me especially to connect to like a male character that much is just not something that i would usually do but wow and with that that does actually bring this video to a close i don't even know how long it is i feel like i didn't read that many books in it like four no because i had those ones that i read through um the ch the reading 24 hour one but i didn't really film those so it's like been like six or seven books i don't know since i started this not since my last five star wow well i hope this was still entertaining because that was kind of you know i expect to go this could go on for longer but what can i do i've got to be honest if you haven't started if you finished keeping 13 like me i was actually when i went to the um i went to the uh bookstore yesterday to waterstones and i was talking to the 
the person working on the tale she was like oh my god i love that series i was like yeah i'm reading the third book right now she was like oh i need to pick up the third book like i read biting 13 keeping 13 like i'm scared about carrying on don't be scared don't be scared pick up pick this up it's so good yeah with that i'm gonna be ending this video thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed um